One of the things that my smaller friends or my friends that have never been in a bigger body struggle to understand is how different people treat you when you're bigger. I mostly experienced this from men in college and when I was explaining it to one of my friends, she like just couldn't believe me. When I was in college in a bigger body, I would stand next to my friend who was more skinny or in the beauty standard. We would be talking to a guy and he would talk to her like she was there and not even look at me. It was like I didn't exist. And then I lost weight. For some reason, I feel like people will say the most basic take possible, like something that everybody knows. And for some reason, they think they're profound because they said that. Why do you think it's an, uh, uh, why do you think it's anomalistic that somebody that finds you unattractive doesn't want to talk to you? It's obvious. This is something that happens across the entire spectrum of humanity and even to a certain degree in the animal kingdom, right? Let's be honest here for a second. Like you're not going to buy a car that you don't think is attractive. You're not going to buy I mean sure there are other things in play, but if you have the option to choose a car that looks better than another car and you're spending the same amount of money, why would I choose to spend money or even entertain the idea of buying something that I don't want to even buy or like I have no, I have no, it's just not attractive for me. The same thing for people that are dating. If I think you're unattractive, yeah, bro, I'm probably not even going to look at you because I don't think you're attractive and that's just what it is. And for some reason, these people will say this stuff and they don't realize that they themselves are also doing the exact thing that they're proclaiming is crazy or like, oh my God, I can't believe this guy is like completely ignoring me. You probably completely ignore dudes or don't even message the guys that hit you up with the good morning text messages or the guys that go, let me take you out on dates. And that's fine. Like, I don't have a problem with people ignoring other people that they find unattractive. That's normal. Everybody does that. So sometimes people will just say stuff and it's like you're you're the king of normal takes. Like, I get it, bro. But it, don't don't sit there and say, like, you're based or something like that. Like, you have this crazy idea in your head. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe that. Like, I don't know if you knew, but, like, if you're unattractive, you get ignored. Yeah, literally, like, 99% of men are literally going through dating apps and just, like, get one interaction. That one interaction is probably a man. And then maybe every once in a while, a woman might hit you up. But guess what? 99% of women on the internet are men. So it's probably a guy anyway. Like, I, you know how many times I've talked to a dude and I didn't know it was a dude? Like, four, five, six times, dude. Like, you're talking to a woman and you're going... Uh, oh, hey, what's going on? Where are you from? And then you just get a dick pic. And you're like, what is this, bro? What is going on? And then they go, oh, bro, one time I actually got a dick pic from somebody. And the dude was like, <clears throat> he just sent me a dick pic. And he wasn't even, he was a black penis, okay? The guy was white. Uh, the, well, you know, so it was a woman, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, it was a white guy. He had sent me his picture later on. It was a white guy. And he sent me a black dick. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And he was like, oh, my bad. That's the wrong one. And I was like, what the fuck? And then he sent me his dick pic. And he was like, this is mine. I don't even think it was his. So I don't know if he was like compiling uh, a ton of dick pics in like a folder somewhere that he can send to people given the scenario. But it's kind of crazy to send. Can you imagine being a woman and going like, oh, babe, send me that flavorfulness. Send me the bigness tonight, right? <clears throat> you take and then you send her a dick pic and you're like, oh, my bad. That's the wrong one. What do you mean? That's the wrong one. But you're like, oh, yeah, that's my boy's meat. What do you why do you have a picture of your, your friend's meat? Why do you have that? What is up with that shit? Now, I have seen guys before go on Google Images and type in dick pic and send that to a girl if they were scared to know if that was an actual, like, real-world female. Because if you're sending a penis picture to a man, even by accident, you might run the possibility of being gay. Now, if you are gay, it's probably not a big deal. But if you don't want to be gay, by proxy, you send a dick pic that's not yours. You understand? So, you, so like, it's not technically your dick. Therefore, you're just sending a random penis. So, you know, it's always something to be aware of and uh, always have something in the back of your mind. I don't know what we're talking about right now, but anyway. And all of a sudden, it was like I was actually in the room. Like, they would reintroduce themselves. And then I lost weight. And all of a sudden, it was like I was actually in the room. Like, they would reintroduce themselves to me as if we hadn't known each other for all of college. Now, there's no shame to my smaller friends who have never experienced this. Of course, they can't understand. But if you've experienced this, too, and you want to explain it to your friends that don't understand, what I would recommend is telling them this. Most people can understand this. I don't know why you think everybody is like incredibly ignorant of the fact that if you're unattractive, you're not going to get as much attention as you would have if you were more attractive. I'm pretty sure everybody knows this. Literally every single person on the planet. You might you might come across somebody that has almost no experiences with this. Like I've, I've seen this very, very much uh, on a very, very attractive women where they go, oh, like guys don't open the door for you. Oh, like people don't let you cut in line. Oh, you don't just get like free stuff sometimes. Like they don't like tell you to not pay for the bus when you take the bus like they don't do it and he's like no like that's never happened to me ever in my entire life like no um or but it's a double-edged sword because like 
these girls usually that are so pretty ridiculously god tier pretty are usually dealing with things that are probably things that you're never going to deal with ever in your entire life so it's a give or take like you're probably not being harassed by copious amounts of men on a daily basis literally on the street pulling up to you on the side of the road telling you to get into the car for no other reason than they think you're pretty or not knowing whether or not you're getting this job because you're pretty or whether or not you're qualified for the position like there's a lot of times and places where being pretty is very very agitatious agitatious but like later on in the in the future you might be questioning whether or not you're actually good at this job or you're just pretty but in my opinion a lot of jobs um people are not even good at their jobs like i don't know what to say bro the amount of times like i've worked in a position and i'm doing above and beyond the thing is i'm not even here to like i sucked i did retail jobs and i would they would tell me like david can you go back there and can you do return so like basically if there's something an item that was returned or whatever you would take it in a cart and you would put it in the designated aisle back where it belonged i didn't know where any of this stuff was because i didn't actually know anything about the store i was just a cashier so I would just go over to where the gazebos were, or the kayaks, and I would just start tossing shit in between the shit because nobody's buying gazebos. They were like $4,000. And again, kayaks, $800. Who the fuck is going into a store and buying a kayak? I don't even know how you would even get that off the shelf, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I was just tossing shit in there. So I had no, I had no idea, but I was very good at being a cashier. So I was like super talkative and stuff like that. And I'd flirt with people, even if it was a man or a woman. And I would give people free shit. I don't care, bro. Like if you're a cool person, I'll give you like four things free or sometimes even half your order, depending on how cool you are. But the point I'm making is I was very good at my job. Like I was super fast. I was expedient and I was very talkative. But I knew some people that literally just didn't do anything. Sometimes they would just be sitting there and they would shut off their light on their register. And they would just sit there for 20 minutes until somebody would tell them to turn it back on. Or they would just leave the register and they would go to the back of the aisles and just chill there where the cameras weren't. And they would just sit there. And here I was doing 10, 200 215% more work because I'm taking my work and his work. And this guy's not even here. So a lot of people in job in jobs um, are really just doing the bare minimum just to get by. And that's tough, but it is what it is. Um, I don't even know what we're talking about, dude. Because I'm sure that they'll say, oh yeah, sometimes- Oh yeah, this is like the most nuanced shit ever. I mean, the, my bad, this is, this is the most basic bitch shit ever. Like, everybody knows this. Everybody knows that if you're more attractive, you're gonna get more attention. It's obvious. Guys ignore me, they're not interested in me either. And it's different. So of course it's fucking different. If a guy's not interested in a woman that's very, very attractive, it's gonna be for different reasons compared to a guy not being interested in somebody because they're unattractive. That's obvious uh what the fuck it that is uh that's like somebody going oh uh you must why are you not attracted to a lamborghini is it is it because you just don't think it looks good no because i can't afford a lamber fucking guinea dude what the fuck like obviously there are going to be differences in the attractions for certain people like some people you just might be in their wheelhouse you might just be attracted to a particular set of person so if you're attracted to big girls i know a lot of black guys that are like super obsessed with big ladies because they like big voluptuous butt cheeks and lumpy butt cheeks which is something i don't actually really even enjoy it all but a lot of guys i know will sit there and go yeah man big butt cheeks in my hands i love that shit man my face too bro clap them cheeks and shit i see that all the time but uh for me personally i prefer quality over quantity so i prefer a nice chiseled butt cheek so if you're putting your butt cheeks in my face there's a possibility that you could crush my face with your glute muscles which is very very beautiful and i'm totally fine with having butt cheeks in your face okay it's, there's a big difference between uh, a man sitting on your face which i would never recommend i don't know what the fuck women the amount like dude the amount of women will sit there and go you ever think about sitting on my face david and you go no like why would i ever do that to you like you're you're a beautiful specimen of human being like you're a pure-hearted woman and you want me to do that I, I find it disrespectful that i put my butt cheeks on the toilet let alone your face and like i don't even know if you understand this but i don't even know how to shave any of my body parts with the exception of my face like I and you guys take care of yourself so well so like if, if a woman sat on your face for the most part you were pretty good um, women wipe so you're gonna be able to probably enjoy it thoroughly you're probably not gonna be you know experiencing many discomforts for the most part unless you're not into it and she's like forcing you to eat her ass which is I don't not gonna happen very often like not many women are gonna put a gun to your head and go eat that fucking ass like not many people are gonna do that um, but a lot of women really do want ass in their face man ass specifically and i always ask them have is has it has this ever happened to you and they always go no guys are scared to do it i think once you let it happen to you you're never gonna want it again it's gonna be like one of those things where you think eating the chocolate powder you know the chocolate powder dust that you put into the milk and you stir it around and you think that if you put that chocolate powder in your mouth it's gonna taste way 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 amazing because it's chocolate powder obviously and then you put it in your mouth and you realize oh 
this is gross. This doesn't even taste like chocolate because it's not actually real chocolate. It's the same thing with like beating off with conditioner. Just because it looks like lotion doesn't mean it's actually lotion, okay? It's gonna burn. So there's a lot of scenarios in your life where you think it's gonna be great and then you get it and you're like, ah, no, not so good. Like I remember I peed in a girl's mouth one time and she was like, it was fine. It was good, never again. And I was like, that's fine. Like, I didn't even really even want to do this at all. Like, I wasn't even erect when this was occurring. So, uh, and I felt like a villain. Like, I felt like a lazy town villain or something like that. Like, you know, the guy with the curly mustache? I felt like him. But uh, anyway, I don't know what we're talking about. Someone not being interested in you because you're not their type is so different from them acting like you literally are not in the room. Because Duh. This is like the, again, like people sometimes will just say the most basic bitch shit and then like they'll say it and they'll be like, oh my God, does anybody else know what I'm talking about? Like, does anybody else drink water? Like, am I the only one here? Like, what do you shut the fuck up? Because they don't <laughs> deem you worthy enough. They just automatically assume that you are less healthy. Less well, you are less healthy. If you're fat, that's just obvious. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Yes, obviously. I don't know about less interesting. Uh, people, human beings are very, very interesting baseline. And you can learn a lot from even the most dull. But I will agree, though. Some people have an inability to have conversations. And it's really, really tough to be the only person in the conversation starting up conversations. Or, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Tell me about this. What do you think about this? And there's nothing happening as a, 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 like there's no reciprocal stuff going on. Like that person is not sitting there asking you questions. That's always tough. And I will 100% die on this hill. Even if this woman was a 11 out of 10 and she couldn't talk. I, it doesn't matter to me, dude. That shit is always going to be the worst situation ever. That shit is not interesting at all. It's cool that you're hot and your butt cheeks are great and you have great front butt. That's cool. Front butt, by the way, is boobs. Um, it's, I don't care about it, dude. Like, honestly speaking, dude, it's cool that your egg sac is plump and voluptuous and uh, you have great, I don't know, bone structure, dude. But like, dude, your brain structure is flawed. So can we work on that a little bit? But some people just don't because they, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. A lot of... I know some people that literally go, I should probably start like a social media career because I'm pretty. And I just think like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is a crazy ass thing to say. Like you have, like, really think about that. Like you're sitting here telling me that you think your only redeeming quality uh, to be a social media influencer is just you being pretty. And you know what? It does work like that. There are a lot of people out there that have literally nothing to offer intellectually and they'll just sit there and they'll be pretty. And that's enough for a lot of people. And that's fine. You know, it's great that people can make a living just being pretty. But the funny thing about prettiness is it goes away eventually. And then also it's very hard to maintain past like, I don't know, dude, like a certain point. So yes, I'm sure like you could easily do that stuff. But probably if you're going to do other stuff, maybe it'd be beneficial to invest some mental capacity in other things. So you have stuff to talk about at least. It's very boring to talk to somebody that has nothing to talk about or you're struggling to get any response out of them. Interesting, less intelligent, less fun, whatever. Well, you, I don't think any of these things are... Okay, first of all, it's definitely less healthy. All those other things are a byproduct of the less healthy and then also don't want to be around somebody that's health unhealthy. So, like, I don't give a fuck that you're interesting or you're fun or you're funny or on the, all the other stuff because guess what? There are plenty of thin people out there that are also all of those things and also not dying. So, if you're sitting here as a buying point and going, I'm funny, I'm fun, I have all these great communicational abilities, I'm going to go, I don't care. Like, that doesn't really apply to me. That's like somebody going, the shell of my car, even though it's like, ridiculously terrible and the engine really doesn't work very you know nicely and this and that but guess what the interior is really nice like it's great upholstery you know it's leather all over dude you're gonna love it like i don't give a fuck that your upholstery is great if the car itself doesn't work whatever it is because of what you look like and that is heartbreaking if it's not heartbreaking that's the reality of like every situation ever you're you're upset that somebody finds you unattractive and they're not willing to look past that to see the underlying traits because they are fundamentally unattracted to somebody that's fat or unhealthy what are you talking about you do that you do that already there are things in your life that you will buy or you will do that you don't want to do because you have but you have to do it and then there are other things that you don't want to do and you don't do those things because you don't find those things attractive so that's okay are you gonna sit here and tell me that when you're on dating apps you don't just look at a guy and go nope Nope, nope, nope. I've seen how women swipe on dating apps, dude. It's like 99 no's, one maybe. That's it. And that one maybe is probably a no. You are Whereas guys are, I mean, don't get me wrong. The guys is like swiping right on every single woman that you possibly lays eyes upon, even if it's a man, which I've done that sometimes, where you've scrolled through like 50 people and then you look down for like a quick second, then you see a man, you're like, ah, damn. And then it says match, you're like, fuck. And then you, and then you start questioning it. Like, am I gay? I've swiped right on 400 women and I've gotten zero matches, 
But the moment I swipe right on a man that's listed himself as a woman to get more male attention, it's a match. I'm gay. I mean, that's uh, that would kill almost anybody. And then maybe sometimes you start questioning your heterosexuality. A friend in a smaller body in this situation, and the best thing that you can do for people that are struggling with. I don't even know why this is. Is this like a PSA? Like, oh yeah, here's what you do to alleviate your fat friend's inability to find men's is like, so you can understand them from a better point of view. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Who, why is this even a problem for you? Just lose weight. A friend in a smaller body in this situation and the best thing that you can do for people that are struggling with this. This is girl is such a pick me, bro. I thought this video was to help the thin people understand how it was for you, not how thin people can help you <laughs> work through your emotions because you're fat. What the fuck? Just to listen to us and believe us that this is- No, I'm not gonna believe you, bro. What the fuck? If you're rolling up eating double cheeseburgers and a pizza on the back of your neck and you're talking about some- I don't know why guys are ignoring me. Like, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Anyway, hold up. Let me get this slice off my back right now. Slice. Hey, yo, where the, where the attention at? You can't do that, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care, bro. Just lose some fucking weight. I don't know, dude. Like, I have plenty of guy friends that have bigger boobs than most girls and they never complain that they get no bitches. It is what it is, bro. This is what happens. It's okay if you haven't experienced it or you don't understand it. Uh, nobody said it wasn't okay. I don't even know why we're even having this conversation. Like, it's okay. That's like going up to somebody that, like, you have no you have no prior interactions with ever, and you realize that they're gay, and you go, it's okay that you're gay. And the guy goes, like, well, okay, I'm like, who are you? Like, what the fuck? I know it's okay to be gay, dude. Like, what are you... Nobody said it wasn't okay to be gay. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Like, it's okay that you've never gone through this. I know it's... I know... I know, nobody said it wasn't, bro. That's, that's weird, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Us <laughs> and believe us that this is what happens. It's okay if you haven't experienced no, it or you don't understand it. But nobody nobody does that, though. Like, everybody believes it. Like, if a, fa if a fat person was like, dude, I get no bitches. Girls don't approach me. I'm not going to go, really? What, you real? Oh, my God. Are you serious? Dude, like, girls don't approach you, bro? Even though you literally smell like body odor, dude, and, like, your most used app is Uber Eats, bro? Really? I just, I have no idea. Like, you have nothing to offer a woman? You haven't took a shower in five days? You don't know how to do your laundry? And like, girls just don't want to talk to you, bro? Really? Oh, I can't believe it, bro. Like, you think we're all, like, stupid? <laughs> like, this, when I hear people talk like this, I'm just thinking, like, dude, this is the most... Everybody knows this shit, dude. Why are you talking about this as if, like, this is some kind of, like, forbidden knowledge? Like, you've read from the black book, and you've discovered something that, like, intrinsically that human beings have never discovered, but, like, you have. You can't imagine it. I am so happy you haven't had to deal with this. Thanks. Let's just open this conversation and love each other a little bit better. Because no matter your body size... When somebody says, uh, love each other, I'm thinking about beating off this. Let's just open this conversation and love each other a little bit better. Because no matter your body size, you deserve to feel like people want you around. I don't know about that dude that's not how the what dude are you fucking serious what if you're like 800 pounds bro and you're at a rodeo get out bro what are you doing here i don't like you get get the fuck away from me dude and i'm not even one of these weird people bro you're not gonna see me on like a beach and there's like a lady with one leg and i'm gonna go up there like hey we don't like you here we don't like that fucking one leg thing and it's a shaped weird too i don't like that thing get off the beach we don't like that shit get off your get your get your one legged ass out of here there are just gonna be some times and scenarios where some people are just not really going to be appropriate in certain scenarios. Like, for instance, if you were a guy and you were just missing, like, the bottom half of your leg and you signed up for a marathon, what are you... <laughs> bro, what are you doing? <laughs> you don't got legs, bro. Like, you have nothing. Like, I don't even know how you got here. Like, that's what you know what I'm talking about? Or, like, a blind guy trying to show up to, like, a reading lesson. Like, what are you doing, bro? You can't even see. What are you doing here, man? There's no Braille anything. Here. That's the point. Like, sometimes there are going to be people that just shouldn't be in areas. And that's okay. Like, it is what it is. Like, I would never show up to, like, the NBA finals or whatever and be like, I'm ready to audition, coach. Like, sign me up. I'm ready. Like, I remember literally being in high school and going up to, like, my high school coach. And I was like, can I try out for the team? And he was like, David, you're white. And I was like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, dude. You're totally right, dude. My bad. My bad, dude. Let me just go sign up for lacrosse. But anyway. Get ready with me while I tell you about one of the many times I experienced fat phobia in college. I was at a coffee shop doing homework with one of my really good guy friends and his roommate at the time. And for some reason, we ended up getting on the topic of like what his roommate liked in girls and like what his type was. So weird, bro. That's a weird ass conversation, bro. I mean, is it? I don't know. Let me know down below. But usually if I meet somebody for the first time or we're just hanging out, I'm not going. So I'm like, well, tell me. This is such a pick me ass thing. So do you like, so do you like, do you like girls? Do you like girls that are like blonde? 
Do you like girls that are like blonde that wear weird like you know flowery type robes? Do you do you like those? Do you like those robes? Do you like girls with like kind of like green eyes a little bit? Like girls that do their makeup on TikTok? Do you like that? Like I'm that's just how I imagine that's how I imagine any all this this whole conversation going. So my friend and I are like asking his roommate like what he finds attractive in girls, Why? like who on campus specifically he thinks is attractive. He's like Why? Why? Why did this come up? This is weird, bro. Ask me about my fucking, I don't know, bro. Ask me about my favorite hot pocket. Why are you asking me about what girls I like on campus? Who are you? Like listing all these girls, they all look the exact- What do you mean you listing all these girls? Yeah, I like Sarah, Rebecca, Jessica, Rachel. Like you just start listing, listing out like 50 girls' names, dude. He had that list ready, bro. And girls, like who on campus specifically he thinks is attractive. He's like listing all these girls. They all look the exact same. They're all very blonde. They're all very thin. How did that bro listen, dude? I knew it was going to be blonde, bro. He's probably trying to... And he starts talking about like what specifically he likes in girls and un- Ass, ass, I love ass. Big, beautiful, busty butt cheeks. I love that shit all day. I put that shit in my mouth. Um, um, num, num, num. I love butt cheeks. I don't like boobs though. Boobs are kind of weird because you guys have like leche in there. I don't really be fucking with the leche. That's kind of a little bit extreme. But anyway, butt cheeks all day. That's what I imagine that conversation being like. Provoked. He starts talking about like how he doesn't First of think all, women. I gotta get, I gotta keep it a buck with you, bro. It can't be unprovoked if it's within the context of the conversation, bro. If this guy's okay, he doesn't like women. He's attracted. He doesn't. Okay. First, it's it's not how that works. You can't say it's unprovoked if you're asking him a question. So what do you what do you like in a girl? Ah, you know, uh, thinness probably. I like girls that are in shape. And you go, that was unprovoked. What? You asked me a question. What are you talking about, man? Like, how how is that unprovoked when you literally asked me the question? About like what specifically he likes in girls and unprovoked, he starts talking about like how he doesn't think women are attractive unless they're super thin. Uh, that's not unprovoked. That's literally within the line of question that you guys asked him. So like, that's just fucking stupid. He starts giving the example of like how his ex gained too much weight. He yeah. pulls up this girl's Instagram. I kid you not. Like, she was literally so skinny. Like she was so skinny. He was yep. like, yeah, she's just got a little too big for me. And he literally just kept harping on this topic we're like okay See, this is why you don't have conversations like this bro just go like hey you obviously can't handle the conversation just talk about like your favorite version of like do you like the off-brand version of spaghettios or do you like the chef boy rd version of spaghettios like which one do you think is more palatable to slide your meat in i don't know dude there are plenty of things that you could have easily talked about instead of going so like tell me about like your favorite boyfriend so tell me about your favorite girl like what do you think like what is really attractive in a girl by the way i'm gonna get like really offended if it's any of those things that are like not me so anyway we get it he starts talking about how like overweight women are like not True. feminine and like it's not lady like and like why don't you just work out and like just it's just not good in general i wouldn't say it's not feminine it's such a weird processing point to like Say, like, it's not feminine to be fat. Well, it just depends on what you mean. It's probably, like, the most feminine to be fat since, like, your hormone levels are going to be, like, so, like, when dudes get fat, they have no testosterone. Well, I don't know. It's it's not the most feminine thing to be fat, but I'm looking at it from the male perspective. Like, I know a lot of guys that are really, really fat, and they have, like, five testosterone, so it might be feminine in that particular trait, but, like, I wouldn't say inherently being fat is inherently feminine. I don't know. I mean, I guess there are more fat women than there are fat men, sure, but, like, I don't even know. Like, how would you even get to that point? It's such, that's a weird, that's a weird, um, he's, he was definitely going off here. This, this story might also be fake, so. You know, like super uneducated comments. Obviously having a type and a preference is fine. And like, yes, we asked him. He goes on to talk about how like, or like gets married and his wife gains weight. Like he really hopes his wife like exercises and stuff. Like, you know, after she has kids. And I'm like, honestly, at this point, I think that you just like don't like women. I don't. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's a valid. Yeah, that's a valid. So, like, because I don't like fat women, you're just like, so you gay? <laughs> so are you gay? Like, what do you mean you don't like fat women? Like, what do you mean you're unattractive? So you just love men? You love dick? Is that what you? T you just love penis in your mouth? Uh, that's cool. Um, hey, uh, there's a glory hole down the street. If you just want to satisfy your lips right now, you could probably get a couple men in your mouth and see what that's all about. I mean, obviously you're gay because you don't like fat women, so you're. So you're gay. It's just what it is. You're gay. You're gay. I mean, I'm not gay. You're gay, obviously. I mean, you know what? It, that's a, what, what kind of what kind of shit is that, bro? That what, what? Some basic. That is some incel. That is the most incel response I've ever heard in my life. That's like somebody going, "Hey, um, hey, I know we've never talked before, but like, hey, I know I got like body odor coming off my mouth. Uh, do you want to like be my girlfriend?" And then she goes, "Uh, no." And then you go, 
Oh, you're a fucking lesbian then. You're a fucking bitch. You're a fucking whore, bro. Fuck you. You're a whore. That's like, that's that same thing. That's basically what you're doing here. You're just like basic incel shit. That's what that is. Okay, whatever, bro. I mean, I don't think she notices that, but... Stuff, like, you know, after she has kids. And I'm like, honestly, at this point, I think that you just, like, don't like women. I don't know, like, something about it, something about that. You, If you can't explain why he doesn't like women, and the only reason you have to say for that is because he said... He said that he doesn't like fat girls is uh it's kind of crazy bro like you don't have a reason you haven't thought about this i don't know why you're making a point about this it's just not the vibe whoever well, okay that's also not a good reason like oh yeah i think he doesn't like girls because it's not the vibe like okay bro <laughs> that young boy marries i hope that it works out for y'all and girl i'm praying for you let me know if you guys want a part two uh you said nothing like that's so crazy bro because this story started with i asked this guy if he liked me <laughs> basically and he said he didn't and then i got really offended and then i said that he's gay <laughs> That's what I heard. That's basically what I heard, dude. Bye. I got kicked out of a frat once for being too fat. This <laughs> Sometimes I hear people say words, bro, and I'm like, that's insane, bro. And you, 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 you gonna tell people that? Happened many, many Halloweens ago. Basically, my best friend and I and our class friend and her best friend plan to go out for Halloween together. Now, just for context, me and my best friend are not like the conventionally attractive, thin white woman looking girlies, but the girl- I don't even know why you have to pull out that I'm not the thin white. Why you even pull out that you're not white? Like, you didn't think I knew? You didn't think I could see it? Damn, that's- I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. Look, I, maybe her name's like Elizabeth. Oh, it's Lauren. Okay. Lauren is fine. I like the name Lauren, but dude, if you're going to have a necklace that, that's an L on your chest, bro, that is fucking, I, am I wrong? You're a walking L? You're a walking L, bro? I'm like, that's tough. That's really tough, bro. Damn, man. I'm not even, look, I'm sorry, dude. That this is completely besides the point. She has an, a literal L hanging from her neck. If you don't know, L is like the universal slang for you took you took an L. You 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 didn't win. You lost. You lost. So you walking around with that like sure your name is Lauren. I love your name Lauren by the way. Um that's not you should probably not do that. Uh maybe like L A or something like that. Like have another initial at the end of it like la if your last name is like Lauren Albuquerque, I don't know, whatever you fucking whatever. Girls we were going out with did look like that. Basically cool. That happens a lot. Uh, I know when I go out with my guy friends, and I'm like looking around like, oh, I'm white. And every dude I hang out with is black. And they're all beefy black men too. All taller than me, with the exception of one black guy. But he makes up for it with amazing bone structure, amazing shape, amazing physique. But the point I'm making is there are going to be times where you're just like looking around like, damn, I'm really like different. I remember one time I was out with this girl and we were at this one place, Charlestown. And uh, I remember she literally stopped me. She was like, David, I haven't seen another black person in 15 minutes and we had been walking that entire time and i thought really and she said yes i have not seen another because you guys know i'm a snow bunny and she said i have not seen another black person what's up with that and i thought oh uh yeah i don't know i'm pretty sure there's like no like ku klux klan members around here or anything like that like obviously i don't think it's like coming gonna like try to hang you or anything like that but like yeah sometimes you just don't notice it because like you're just like a part of the group or whatever but then other times you're like oh yeah it's like really obvious like i'm fucking white and this is like a a Haitian dance party or something like that, you know? Dudes are screaming in the back room and there's like, I don't know, dude, like, wachata and there's cocoa butter everywhere. I don't know. Basically, the four of us and then a couple other girls go out together and we end up at this frat and they're giving us the classic, who do you know here, which is valid. And our friend has a friend in there, but we get let in through the side. So the vibes are already a little weird. Anyway, we make it into the frat. We're having a good time, dancing, minding our business. There's a part where we end up like, in the basement area because they have like a dj down there fat girls in the basement and we're there for quite some time minding our business no one else is bothering us and then we decide to go back up to take pictures because that's what girls do on hell weekend we're taking pictures against this wall and obviously yeah I, I i don't like that bro i think you girls take too many pictures and i think that it's it's too much i you know if i'm sitting here and you go you know you're holding the phone i hate this but you're holding the phone like this and then i'm thinking like oh and then you go smile and i go and then you're just holding it. You're not taking the picture because you're trying to readjust like the 0.2% of your face that's going to move for the picture. And I'm looking like, dude, you've been holding this picture for 15 seconds. H fucking take the picture. Take the fucking picture, dude. And then you finally take the picture. And then you go, it's ugly. What do you mean it's ugly? You took like 15 pictures. They're all ugly. Every single one of them. I, for me, it's like, oh, can you take a picture, David? I'm like, yeah, whatever. 
All right, let's go. I'm not, like, what do you fucking, I look the same in every single fucking picture. Like, I guess I look a slightly musty in that one, but, like, do I give a fuck? No. But, like, for some reason, why do you guys need to take so many pictures all the time and have to readjust and have to look at the camera so, so, so meticulously? Like, oh, I don't know. I kind of look a little bit bad. You think I'm ugly? No. Why? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Is my hair dry? I don't think so. It looks okay to me. It's, it looks like it did yesterday. It looks fine. Dude, like, what are you talking about? Why do you take so many pictures, dude? Stop it, okay? I, let me just fucking live, dude. We're sitting here. I'm trying to look at things, okay? And you're making me look at this phone screen, and now I look like a fucking idiot because there are 20 people around me all looking at me because I'm standing here like this for 15 seconds. The flash is going off in like a dark room, so like people are looking a little bit. And this is when the moment happens. This man comes up to us, points at me and my best friend. Who let this fat chick in here? Who let this fucking fat chick in here? We don't like their people here. Get this fat chick out of here. Hey, Joey! Joey, come here! Get this fucking fat chick out of here. No, no, don't talk, honey. Don't talk. We don't like your people here. Get the fuck out of here. We don't even know what you are. What are you? What are you, Indonesian? Get out of here. We don't like those either. And he goes, you two need to leave. Damn. Mind you, we're all having a good time minding our own business. You leave, bro. That's just what it is. You go, oh, damn, for real, bro? All right, man. Having fun, but not too much fun. No one's being sloppy or annoying or disturbing the peace. This man basically- I I'm already going to cause crap. I'm going to call I'm gonna call cra ca cap on that, bro. If you have to sit there and you have to be like, I wasn't doing anything. It was chill. We were having fun. We weren't having too much fun for like to interrupt people. I mean, yes, we did take a picture with a flash on and we might have done that like five times and it was a little bit dark. So I guess everybody saw us and things like that. Like, I'm just imagining that all of the stuff she's saying here, it probably did happen like this, but it probably was extremely downplayed on her end starts berating me and my best friend being like you two need to leave you two shouldn't be here who let you in and yeah. the girl that we came with was like just ignore him like we know somebody and he singles out me and my best friend again and he's like no the two big girls need to go Damn. two big girls i mean i would understand if that he doesn't know who your name is right you gotta call him up based off of the characteristics hey the big belly bitches get them out the sentence was coming out of like chris hemsworth you know but if the big girls gotta go then the big boys gotta leave too nah Nah, that's not how that works. Everybody knows there's going to be a difference, bro. Come on. Let's be honest here for a second, okay? There's a there's a fun... Look, women are going to be judged way, 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 way more based off the weight they carry compared to dudes. A lot of dudes just kind of like chill as fat guys, bro. It's kind of crazy. And I'm not saying it's justified. A lot of fat dudes should be losing weight, but a lot of dudes just kind of forgive it. And they just kind of go, I know I'm fat. Like a lot of dudes will completely tell you like, yeah, bro, I'm fat as fuck. Like I'm <laughs> big belly, dude. I look like a fucking... I don't even know, like a Samoan elephant. And they'll, they'll rep it. They'll rep it, dude. And there's not as much standards on men to look good compared to has, uh, compared to women. And I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying it's something to outline here. Like, women are obviously going to be prioritized. So you can't say, like, bro, first of all, dude, they're singling you out. So and it, it may not even be because you're fat. They're just using fat as a characteristic to call you by whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if you're going to be like, well, I'm going to kick out that big girl, then you need to kick out the fat guys too. No, it's probably not. They're not kicking you out because you're fat. They're kicking you out because they don't like you. Right? Because I fear the call might be coming from inside the house. Anyway, that one friend that we made in class clearly did not want to go. So we were like, it's fine. You can stay. Me and my best friend will leave. We'll go somewhere else. Which, never do that. Never split your group apart and not know where the other people are going. That's well, like, there's no alternative here. It's either your friend's an asshole and doesn't... It's either your friend's an asshole and then forces you to stay, but you can't stay because that's not how that works. If they're kicking you out, that you have to leave. So there's literally no alternative. Your friend was just an asshole here. So, like, I don't know what the fuck I can tell you there, bro. Like, get new friends, I guess. That's honestly just kind of messed up. But it's fine because me and my best friend ended up going to another place and having just as much, if not a little bit more fun. She so picked me, bro. This is like, oh, yeah, we left. Be but you know what? Guess what? It was a benefit. We had more fun. So this is for the plus size girlies who are graduating high school. Maybe you're going to a four-year college or you're transferring to a school with Greek life and you're in a bigger body and you're scared about your social. Just lose some weight. I don't know. Like, so many times I hear people say all this stuff like, here's what you got to do in order to make sure you're having a good time as a plus size individual none of it's ever lose weight it's almost always like here are the the steps you need to take to make sure that you're safe as a fat person I, dude cardio i don't know man like if i can eat less dude there's some things called like uh, corn eat that a lot i don't know
social life, don't worry. You are going to be fine. You are going to have a blast. The most important thing to do is to make a solid group of friends because trust me when I say the memories that you make with that group is gonna be far better than any memory that you make at a frat party, which do most people have memories? I, I don't think anybody really says that. Like of, uh, what, what even is this comparison? Like, oh yeah, may, it's the friends you make along the way when have you ever heard somebody say otherwise like when have you ever heard somebody go yeah like oh forget about friends like you don't need friends <laughs> what you really need is good frat parties go to frat parties frat parties are where you're gonna get all your enjoyment in all of car i don't think anybody's ever said that i'm pretty sure every single time people will say make friends and again like why are you guys saying the most basic the most basic statements possible and then you're you're proclaiming it as like a like your holy word or something like that. Do you think anybody disagrees with that statement? Like, oh yeah, guys, like make sure you make friends. Forget about the frat parties. parties. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you think that I wasn't going to do that? Like you think I'm like, like, oh, thank you, bro. Like, th thanks for letting me know to make friends, bro. I couldn't have done it without you. Without this piece of inspirational information, I would have never been able to make friends. Do you think anybody's doing that, bro? What is, okay, bro, whatever, man. From frat parties and another reminder that your body does not define the way that you live your life. If you... It just, it just depends. Like it does and it doesn't. Like it could, it could define the way you live your life. Most of the time it does because you're physically taking up more space and that's probably going to impede your ability to do certain things. And because you're not able to do certain things and you're going to be restricted, that stuff is going to impact the way you live your life. So I, I mean, sure you could say whatever, like these people will sit there and try to justify this shit to the ends of the fucking earth when they could easily just Get on a calorie deficit. You want I'm a fat woman with standards. I know, how dare I, right? How dare I have standards with a body like mine? <laughs> Some people actually act like we shouldn't have standards, that we should just take whatever male attention comes our way without complaint and be grateful for it. But that's not how this works. Even if you have a body that some people find undesirable, you're allowed to like what you like and want what you want. Yeah, but nobody's saying otherwise, dude. Like, you could be a guy with no legs and you know, really, oh man, I really want that bicycle. I really want that treadmill. You can totally want what you want, but that doesn't mean you're going to get what you want. Like, that's not how that works. That's like me wanting like a Tesla and being like, oh, I, I want a Tesla. I should be able to get a Tesla. No, that's not how that fucking works. You get with wh whatever's within your means. So like, obviously, if you're like a two and you want a guy that's a 10, you can maybe roll the dice and maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe. But most of the time, probably not, and that's okay. Like, it's okay to understand that you're not always going to get what you want, like the Rolling Stones said. Like, it's okay. Just understand where you are in the value spectrum and, you know, act accordingly, dude. It is what it is. Now, granted, if you're a fat girl, like, the chances of you finding male attention or a boyfriend are not, like, diminished to, like, zero, but... They're also something to acknowledge. Like, dude, most guys are not going to want to be with a fat girl. And most guys are, you know, most women are not going to want to be with fat guys. So it's okay to acknowledge that. Like, I get what you're saying, but nobody said that you can't have standards. You can totally have standards, bro. It's just like, it's important to acknowledge that your standards might be a little bit outside the realm of possibilities. You know what I'm saying, dude? Maybe adjust them accordingly. It just depends on what they are. Like, if your standards are like, I just want a guy that's nice to me and looks okay, has a good paying job and knows how to do his dishes, like, that's okay. I'm sure that can happen. But if you're sitting here and you're going, I want a guy that's making six figures, is six foot tall, has an 18-inch penis, and also is not gay, it's probably not going to happen. Dude, I don't know. I'm just saying. You don't have to accept any crumbs of male interest just because they're willing to show some interest to you. What are we even talking about, dude? Uh, pff, man, dude. Um, this is such a weird line of dialogue. Like, you don't have to accept the crumbs of male interest. If you're getting nothing, what do you mean you don't have to accept it? Like, if you're getting literally nothing at all and you're talking about some, you don't have to accept it. Oh, I guess. But I'm getting nothing and this is, like, all I have, so. You're, you don't have to just take what you can get. You're... Okay, listen, dude. First of all, if you're in a position to where you're... Okay, beggars can't be choosers, okay? So if you're sitting here telling people you don't have to take what you can get, but you don't get anything, and when you do get something, you tell that person not to take it? Like, I get it. It's fine. You can totally curb that guy, and it probably be, would be warranted because most people that are attracted to people of this caliber are, you know, dudes that are probably rubbing Cheeto dust on their, you know, nutsack and stuff like that sure go ahead curve that person but it's such a stupid point be like you don't have to take what you can get well it's all i can get so what the fuck you mean i can't don't take it that's like somebody being like a plebeian or like a pleb 
and like the Romans come over and throw a fucking piece of bread at your head and you haven't eaten in four days and you go, what the fuck, bro? And you toss it back. Like, oh, I guess you can totally do that if you want to, but you're going to die now. So I, I guess, I mean, hey, whatever. That's just, uh, just, I don't even know just to the point. You're allowed to want things. That that is perfectly okay. Being on the dating no, app. Nobody ever said it wasn't. I don't even, like, again, what are we just, what are we doing? Why are we just saying things? Like, I. As a bigger girl, bring a whole new level of anxieties to the table. Dating apps, I think, they bring anxiety for anyone. It is scary to meet someone online and then have to go and meet them in person, no matter what your size is. But what's stressful about being on them as a bigger girl is making sure that we are, like, clearly representing ourselves. A lot of you guys have already seen the video of me walking you through my Hinge profile where I have crazy eyes. I do stand by what I originally said, and I do like the first photo to be a little more close up, not full body. It doesn't matter who you are, what your size is. Like, people want to see what you look like. Like, and if it's like some full body photo far away, we can't fully make that out. We'll say I had a lot of comments from people saying that me putting a photo closer up was a little bit deceiving. This is what I mean about being on the dating apps as a bigger girl. If your profile is all selfies, yes, you need to change that. You should always have full body photos. But on the dating apps, we have- I think it's also pretty good to, if you're gonna have full body photos, try to get somebody to take it for you because that shows that you have friends and having friends is extremely good character traits for a person that you're going to be dating. And this goes for women and men. Uh, dudes on average don't really take a lot of pictures. So maybe if you have a girl that's a friend of yours, like I was saying earlier, a lot of girls know how to take pictures or at least they think they do. I don't know if many girls do actually know how to take pictures. Like, let's be honest here for a second. If you're taking 80 pictures and four of them are good you suck at taking pictures okay i i'll just have to say it you suck at taking pictures if you're a girl and you take that many photos and you think you're good at taking photos you suck at it okay now it, you might say the same thing for guys like oh yeah guys take one photo and that's like their profile picture for the next 10 years we are economic okay dude like i've taken like if i'm taking a photo i know it's going to be at least decent okay hashtag check out my instagram i have plenty of great photos there okay i just think uh probably get a girl and she'll tell you how to pose uh try not to be a zest fest a lot of times i take pictures i do do very feminine poses but i do that like a lot of people tell me like oh david why do you do like i've had so many people go like oh man i checked out david's instagram it's weird he always has these weird poses and then they think that like I think he's just weird because he's doing these poses. And I'm thinking, like, I'm doing them on purpose. Like, obviously. Like, you think I'm sitting there putting my fucking hands up like this or my leg pointed out, like, every day, like, just generally, dude? No, I'm not fucking doing that, dude. Okay, I'm doing it for a fucking picture because I don't take pictures very often. So, it's like, sometimes, like, sometimes people will say stuff and then you're looking and you're reading it and you're like, what the hell are you talking about, bro? Like, are you dumb? Like, why would you, why are you assuming something is so obvious? <laughs> Why do you go so far? But it doesn't matter. Um, prepare to die in a hell though. If you're a girl and you take 80 pictures of yourself a day and two of them are good, you suck! Five chances to say like, hey, this is me. This is what I look like. And a lot of people were saying that they thought I should put a full body photo first. As a yeah, I mean, no, not first. Probably not first. You want to reel them in with a good face picture. It, doesn't, it shouldn't be like zoomed in. Like you shouldn't be like this. Like you shouldn't be zoomed in, but it should be pretty good picture like a selfie maybe probably or like a selfie just to get a good indication of what i'm looking at and then probably that second or third picture can probably be a full body picture stop taking pictures of you and your friends it's cool that you have friends but like i said it's without question if you somebody takes a picture of you even if it's some random person on the street which i don't ever do because i'm not asking even a grandmother to hold my phone dude she can easily take my shit and just toss it on the floor she's not running away i'm fucking beating that bitch but the point i'm making is um you don't don't take pictures of your friends okay and then also just have somebody else take pictures of you full body pictures are really good because they give you a good indication and by the way full body pictures of that year probably or hopefully you still look like that because a lot of people will take full body pictures of pictures of themselves and you meet up with them and you're like um so you're like uh really old um what did you take this picture when you were like 25 bro like what are you what are you you're like 32 right now right why do you look so goddamn different compared to the way you used to look like you're missing a leg it's like that you know just 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 represent what you are you know bigger girl i am like so over having to justify like hey this is me this is what i look like like are you the fact that this girl has been making videos now for like over a year like this is insane because she has done nothing to 
lose weight. Like, she's just in the same boat of like, I can't believe I have to deal with being fat and having all these problems. Stop being fat. Really looking? Are you really paying attention? Just because you're a bigger girl doesn't mean you have to automatically put that photo first so no one is like wasting their time swiping on you or like scrolling through your profile. I yeah, you're fine. You don't, yeah, you're fine. You don't have to do that. Like I said, you put your face profile picture first. Like, nobody's asking you to do that. I'm sure like one commenter said that, but you're good. ...that are two years old and they know how to use their iPads to call me on FaceTime, go on Amazon. Literally, my niece, she ordered a tent on her parents' Amazon Prime. You're telling me I need... That's terrible, dude. Uh, parents, get your card listed off your Amazon account, especially if your kids are using devices with that Amazon on there. To put a full body photo first so no one um, accidentally doesn't realize that I'm a bigger girl or they're incapable of scrolling. Like, absolutely not. Incapable of scrolling is crazy. Most people are not reading the profile. Like, most people are not reading the paragraphs and paragraphs of how crazy and cool you are, which, honestly speaking, is not even a good thing. Like, why are you telling me so much background information about you on your dating profile when I can ask you that stuff out in public when we're on a date? Stop doing that, okay? Like, if you're making a dating profile, keep it bare bones. Keep it ambiguous. And then be flavorful as well. Like, have some funniness to you, okay? So the profile should not be any longer than maybe one paragraph. And it should be very, very concise. And don't give out too much information, dude. Stop. People are fucking weird, all right, dude? And then also... Have like five or six profile, uh, five or six pictures. Uh, I don't want to look at your shit and see 40 fit, 40 fucking photos. What the fuck are you doing? 40 photos? Just have your Instagram linked at that point. Jesus. Um, no, five or six at most. Like, you're good at that. Like, I get a good understanding, like, of where you are as a body and as a person off five pictures. That's good. You don't need any more than that a girl was skinnier or more petite you're not gonna say like oh you shouldn't put like a closer up photo first like that's so deceiving what if the man likes curves then then he likes curves dude but then like well i'm not gonna be able to see the curves in your face you're deceiving him <laughs> it's just really crazy what we have to go through dating it's not even really that big of a deal bro like what'd you get like one comment and some guy going like damn bro you're fat <laughs> Damn, you're fat. You gotta make sure that people know who this is. Especially when you're just like a bigger girl, just trying to like justify and like take care of everyone around you to make sure that like they know that like, hey, if you go on a date with me, like this is what I look like. Sometimes I'm just like, gosh, I would love to live a week dating in like a smaller body. And you can. You can live your whole life dating in a smaller body if you wanted to. It is not like it's not impossible. It's just like a little bit of effort. Uh, okay, whatever. Just let go of some of these extra anxieties. I've lost weight and gained weight and I have dated in a smaller body, but like then body dysmorphia comes into play and like yada yada. I have had friends that are tinier and they literally go on a first date from a dating app like without a thought in their head. They're like just truly excited for the date. And I'm like, wait, you're not freaking out? Like I can't even be excited about anything because I'm having a literal panic attack. Lose some fucking weight. Why are you so insecure about this shit? You've had the same issue now for over a year and you've done nothing about it. Lose some weight, dude. Why is this becoming an issue for you all of a sudden? Like, dude, get your shit in order, okay? Really what I wanted to come on here and say is that, yes, we need full body photos on our profile. Okay. Like, that is not a question. I think everyone should, no matter what their size is. But you putting a selfie or a closer up photo as your first picture does not make you a catfish or deceiving. Yeah. All right, I love you guys. But Bye. nobody was saying that. I'm sure, like, one random person said that. But that's such a weird, like, forget about that person. That person is weird. But regardless, guys. Uh. We're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in heart. Whatever flavor of heart you want. Blue, purple, green, orange, blue, purple, whatever. I'm repeating colors, but you know what? You're beautiful and you're spe spectacular and amazing. I want to thank everybody that's a member of the channel, everybody that's a subscriber. Thank you so much. I'm almost 10K. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much for helping me achieve this beautiful, amazing uh, certification of 10K. Um, but if you don't want to subscribe or do any of those things for me, it's completely fine. You just being here alone has satisfied me to a degree that I am not comfortable actually disclosing, actually. I don't even know if I have any blood left in my head because you watched this video as far as you did. But anyway, you're a beautiful, amazing specimen of human being. I have to enlighten you that your eyebrows today are very delightful looking. I can tell that you contoured them. I contour my eyebrows. Every once in a while, I have lumpy eyebrows. They're very thick. They're very voluptuous. A lot of people have told me that I have more eyebrows than I need, and that's okay with me. I'm totally fine with that. I have no issue with having a lot of eyebrows because I can do more with a lot of eyebrows than you can do with a little bit of eyebrows. So I'm happy about that. It's like having a big penis. Like, Everything you could do with a small penis, you could do with a big penis, um, within a few exceptions. But I've never heard a lady ever tell me, or a man, 
uh, that having a smaller penis was more beneficial. You know, I've heard many women go, scramble my eggs, you know, like, give me that shit. I need my egg sack scrambled. So I like, you know, you know, it's what it is. But most women can't really take more than five. And that's an issue, especially coming from some guy like me, which is, you know, let's be honest here, five is light. But anyway, um, we're going to the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff will be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.